All right, welcome back. It's late September 65, and um, we'll start off here in um, Montgomery. Pretty simple. Basically, I put all of our forces into Grant's army stack. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what Lee and Ewell um, will, will do here. The big move this turn is moving on Charleston. We're going to send Sherman forward, um, and um, Foster's going to come down. And we're going to send a part of a fleet to come down here and bombard. And then this other fleet, uh, led by Palmer, is going to uh, drop off about, I think, nine divisions here, uh, straight on to Charleston. So it's risky. Um, we'll see what's going to happen. We will try to um, block the river movements um, um, here. And um, there is an ironclad here, uh, but uh, we've put in our... Uh, our ironclad too, so we'll see what happens to um, to the battle. So Hill is up here, so Hill, this this area here is not controlled um, by the Union, um, but of course um, they could, you know, the Confederacy could rail here and then come down to Dorchester and then um, and then rail over. So that is uh, okay. That is also uh, an option. Um, what we're going to basically do is, from North Carolina, we're also going to start to send the forces down to Charleston. So we're going to send Buell, um, we're going to send Buell down, uh, here, um, and, um, we're also going to send Newton's, uh, core, um, as well. Uh, our Virginia forces are basically going to rail back up, um, and, oh, I actually made a mistake. I... I need to move these guys. Um, well, they're not. They're, they don't have any railroad capacity left. So let's see where we can move them to. I'll move them there. Um, and uh, basically, we're going to come back up and take a bit of position here, since um, we don't really have too much uh, supply left. As you can see, we've also used all of our um, we've also used all of our river river units. Um, so Sherman will come in and attack. We'll have Forrest, um, or Foster, excuse me, coming down um, on invade com uh, combat. Um, and then, let's see, other forces will uh, try to uh, come down and, and join here in uh, Decito. Or no, actually, uh, Branchville. They'll basically be on the way to trust them. All right, let's run the turn and see what happens. All right, so things didn't go exactly as planned. We've lost four, um, um, we've lost four, uh, national morale, um, <clears throat> down here, um, uh, let's just kind of like overlook at the situation. Basically, Sherman came in and did attack. Very, very small battle, lost, and did not attack anymore. Um, Foster came in, and uh, it was actually a bit more of a serious battle. And we'll look at the kind of battle screens in a minute. Um, as Longstreet has arrived, I'm not really sure where he came from and lost. Um, Buell is now here, um, and is again uh, in between um, our, our forces here. Um, it's a pretty large force down here in, uh, in Savannah, um, and uh, we also have Hamilton's Corps on the way down here, and they're, they're about uh, five, they're about five days, uh, five days away. Um, so, those were the main highlights, actually nothing ended up happening in, uh, in Alabama. Um, um, Lee is, has gone, uh, has gone back, uh, back to the east, um, and uh, our forces are now all back up here in, um, in uh, Virginia. Uh, we do have a bit of a, looks like we do have a bit of a supply, uh, a bit of a supply situation. Um, so maybe they'll. I can't remember if they draw supply before and that that works for them or, um, or not. Um, 
let's see. I guess yeah, that's our those are the main uh, the main highlights. Let's kind of take a look at the battles. Um, we did finally take uh, Stanton here, so that is now um, uh, that is now ours. We kind of like won a small naval battle and then lost um, down here. Um, Oh yeah, it's interesting. So uh, here's the looks like the Union Navy is getting a little is uh, starting to get a little tired. Um, um, yeah, so there were two battles. Uh, here's where Long Street defeated Foster, um, and those are four. Uh, national morale loss, um, and then here is um, and basically that was followed by a very a pretty small battle here in Charleston, but we also uh, lost one national morale um, because of that. So in the end, not a super uh, eventful turn. Um, not really sure what to do. Um, you know, since our forces didn't land, we could pull them back, and and you know we may want to do that now. Um, otherwise, they're going to face you know some severe, uh, severe, it's very very severe penalties um, getting hit there. Um, yes, yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of hard to say. So a little bit to think about. Nothing really happened out west. Um, not really sure where, um, not really know exactly where their uh, their force went. Um, uh, let's see what else happened here. Oh, um, so Hillsborough is besieged. We do, <coughs> excuse me, have our force here in Raleigh. So we just only have good control of North Carolina. Um, although we don't have a lot of forces left here as we move south, we just have the one uh, the one division. Uh, down here in Wilmington. Uh, they did take, take back Fayetteville, though. Um, okay, that's pretty much all. So I think the next turn should be interesting. We, you know, there are rules here. Without, not really clear how many forces there. there are two units. That could be two divisions. Um, of course, Buell is here with three, and um, Newton is, is also here um, with three, and then we have another uh, three on the way, so that's nine divisions uh, plus the three here. That'll be twelve plus the two that are in Charleston. That's fourteen, and then we have like five or six that we can land. So we have, we have about eighteen divisions kind of in the Charleston vicinity. The question is how to use them to capture Charleston. All right, see you next time.